Coach, good performance, especially special teams at Monmouth. Uh, what's your take on it? I, I think we played well in all facets of the game. I think any time you can hold Sinisi under 100 yards, your defense has played fairly well. I think at the first half they played extremely well. We held them to a field goal in the first half after giving the ball up to them in pretty good field position. Our offense uh, got two touches in the first and then exploded in the third and fourth quarters. I think uh, the special teams gave them good field position with three of those. I think we had a punt block that we got somewhere around the 20. We had a kickoff return that was somewhere around the 30. And then we had a punt return that was somewhere around the 40. Put them all in pretty good shape and the offense converted all three of them for touchdowns. Great, great afternoon, offense, defense, and kicking game. Got some good performances from some of your younger players, uh, Jake Ciccarello, Andrew Smith, both, both had a hand, especially with David McCarty down in the second half. Well, Andrew Smith, we've talked about him many, many times. He's got he's multi-talented young man. Uh, he's uh, back in our punt unit, and he's run a couple fakes for first downs. He's played wide receiver. Uh, he's uh, we've. Uh, featured him on a reverse pass, so he comes back through the backfield and through a touchdown pass. He runs the ball out of the Wildcat and out of the quarterback position. He's a very, very talented young man. And Jake Ciccarello, I think, is starting to step into a long line of safeties that have played very well for us. Kid out of uh, Orlando, Florida, and uh, he, he is a good addition to the squad. Moving ahead to this week, uh, it's kind of a showdown weekend with Central Connecticut, both teams unbeaten in the league. Uh, yeah, and they're an interesting team. They've given up so many points in the first quarter and yet have limited teams to so few in the fourth quarter. They're a team that has come behind, I believe, five times this year. And if you've never come from behind, you sometimes question whether you can do it. If you've come from behind five times, you have no question that if you hang in there, you'll be able to come from behind. They're multi-talented. They've got two pretty good tailbacks. They've got two pretty good quarterbacks. They've got a wide receiver. Maybe the best we've seen this year so far. Well, that may not be true. The two kids from UMass were pretty darn good. But he's a very, very good receiver. And uh, maybe the most complete football team in our conference right now. And uh, these type of weeks, you don't have to say much to your team to get them ready? No, I, I think, you know, uh, and it's been kind of interesting. In the last eight weeks, we haven't said much to them. You know, we have an opportunity when this started to make history. You don't have an opportunity every year to do that. Our kids can go into the record books winning three straight conference championships with the possibility of being undefeated three straight years. So. Every week they've come hard to practice on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday, and we've got great performances out of them come Saturday. So I would doubt that they would go belly up in this one. I think there's just too much at stake. Both teams are undefeated, and we've got a good rivalry with Central.